All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin and I just got done sifting. Here's some of the large stuff that we took out. Here are about 250 worms that we're gonna do a time lapse with at the end. And right here is about five pounds of just awesome castings. Take a look at this. Just beautiful, perfect moisture, perfect texture, just kind of flows right out of my hand. So I do this about once a week to 10 days and I skipped the last one, but this is how much castings you can get by doing one of these outdoor worm bins. So cool. So last time we were in here, we had a breadcrumb container that got totally destroyed and the worms ate it. And we gave a absolutely massive feeding with lots of banana peels, an onion, tomato, strawberry, lettuce tops, all the normal summer veggies. But for the first time, I'm gonna put in all leaves. This is from a magnolia tree. And I don't know if you can tell, but they have kind of waxy leaves, which is why I haven't used them in the past. And check this out. That looks like, is that mycelium? I don't know. But we're going to have all kinds of leaves with that in it. And the magnolia tree puts out some fruits that the squirrels just love to eat. But unfortunately, we had to cut down the magnolia. So I was kind of in a time crunch. If I ever wanted to use magnolia leaves, I have to use them quickly because these are slowly but surely degrading down. We had to cut that tree out because it was too close to the house. So let's go ahead and dive in and see if the worms got to that feeding. I don't know if they're gonna have eaten all of it. It did warm up a little bit and for about a day or two, I came out and put some ice and we put a lot of bedding in it as well in some toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. So let's go ahead and dig in and see how they did with all that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, check that out. Just absolutely full of worms. And here are a couple of black soldier fly larvae. I'll just kind of set to the side, but check it out. It looks like the peels are left, but not much more than that, other than some of the paper towel rolls. But check out all these worms. I estimate I have somewhere around 6,000 worms in here. And when we do that time-lapse with the 250 worms, I'm gonna spread them out so you can kind of get a look at what 250 worms looks like. Some folks have asked, how do you determine how many worms you have? You know, you can count them out like I'm gonna do with the tiny worm bin here soon, but you can also just kind of get a guess by putting out 100 or 250 or 500 and kind of caging your eyes. So this is just fantastic. I cannot believe they got through all that feeding in I think it was eight days. So good job, worms. Good job. Okay, here's a mango seed. Let's see. Okay, we got a little bit of castings in there, but they're taking care of it. I'm going to go ahead and go around the horn here. Now, when I do take out castings, I go from the edge. It seems like that's where most of the castings are because I feed in the middle. So this bin probably has about 20 to 25 pounds of material in it. And I weighed out those castings and it was, tw and it was uh, five pounds. So I guess I took out, what, about one-fifth of the contents. But check it out. I mean, if you want to be a lazy worm farmer, you can just throw in big pieces of cardboard. This was a toilet paper roll that clearly they have gotten into and they are enjoying. I think they go in there and kind of mate and produce their cocoons, kind of like a hiding place or an Airbnb. So this is, wow, these are just fantastic. Let me go ahead and keep digging and we'll set up our feeding zone. Oh, check this out. Inside that toilet paper roll, tons of worms. Really cool. I love this. Okay, because they got through most of that feeding, I've got an idea here what we're going to do. We are going to put down all this previous bedding, and then we're going to put down some of those leaves. So here we go. Let's just dump them right in. And then I'm gonna kind of squish them up. All right, those crunched down pretty good and they are extremely dry. So I think after this feeding and after we stop filming, I'm gonna pour some water on here, which you can do very easily with an outdoor bin made out of these 20 gallon fabric pots. It just goes right through it. So one of the things I'm interested with having leaves in here, having not previously put them in there is how fast they break down. I think in general, cardboard breaks down quicker because it has already been kind of shredded up and then pulled back together. So after it gets wet, it really is really fine. But these leaves are still kind of intact.
from being alive previously and still kind of being connected. So we'll see how fast these leaves go compared to the cardboard that we've had in here previously. And all these leaves probably have some kind of bin critters that I have never had in here because I guess the most I do is throw in some compost. So maybe some similar stuff, but I'm interested to see if I get a, a bloom of some other kind of bin critter that I haven't had in here by using these leaves straight from my yard. So here's what we had in mind. I didn't think we were gonna feed all of this, but I think we can just based on how well they did with that previous feeding. So we've got a crowd favorite right here, watermelon. I'll set that to the side and maybe put it on top and then we'll dump it all in. And all of this has been previously frozen, so it should be really available for them because all the different cell walls and cells have burst from all these pl this plant material. So as soon as it thaws, it is just absolutely going to turn to mush and the, bur the worms will be able to get right into it. And then we'll put their little watermelon right here. And then let's go ahead and add some of the other stuff I add every feeding. So first up is my worm chow, which I've created just about a week ago. And it is a combination of all kinds of expired stuff in my pantry that I've experimented on and seen that the worms enjoy. So we'll put some worm chow on. Next, we'll go in with some of our used coffee grounds that we have. And there's some pumpkin spice in here. So my wife, Autumn, absolutely loves pumpkin spice and anything to do with the autumn season. So in that goes. Too bad they can't smell it. <laughs> it smells really good. Does it? The coffee does? Yeah. That's hilarious. And then in goes some pulverized eggshells. We just take them, let them dry out, rinse them a little bit, let them dry out, and then we pulverize them in our magic bullet blender. And then finally, let's go ahead and add some of the bigger stuff that we sifted out when we sifted our castings and got all those worms. So just a hodgepodge of some of the stuff that takes a little bit longer such as maybe a wood chip right there, some seeds that may, oop, hey, that's a cherry seed that I never thought would degrade, but I just smashed that. That's awesome. I think this is a pumpkin seed or maybe, yeah, probably a pumpkin seed. But anyway, all this stuff was sifted out and now we're just gonna bury it in so we can prep for releasing the worms in here. And when we release them, it will be very interesting to see what it looks like you'll know that they are exactly 250. We counted 250. Are there some babies or wisp in there? Probably. But once we put it on here, and I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, you'll see what 250 worms looks like. So when you kind of look in your bin and you're digging around, you can kind of estimate for yourself how many that you think you might have in your bin. All right, here they are. So here we go. all right i think we got just about all 250 down this was bugging me the whole time the little piece of plastic i always take the plastic out but somehow it gets into my shredder so let's put a little bit more worm chow on the top and then i'm going to put a little bit of shredded cardboard on the top so on the shredded cardboard goes and that will help as i pour the water on here or sprinkle the water on so that'll about do it i hope you all are having a great day i hope your worm bins are doing well so happy vermicompost everybody take care now